last type, decomposition. Decomposition reactions, they're really easy to spot because there's only one thing on the left-hand side of the arrow. If there's only one chemical on the left-hand side of the arrow, it's going to be a decomposition because you can't smush it together with something else because there's nothing else there. You can't trade places because there's nothing else there. The only thing you can do is split up. Um, decomposition reactions, you'll probably want to write this up here at the top. The decomposition reactions usually involve heat. The heat loosens up the compounds and makes those bonds break down. Um, but in this case, there's glassware involved. So you'll use a Bunsen burner or a hot plate or something, but it'll be in a beaker or in a test tube, something like that. And the heat causes the compound to decompose and break down into its components. So if A plus B going to AB was like a marriage, what's this one? A divorce. A divorce. Oh, no, they couldn't get along. Okay. So if you have calcium oxide, they get a divorce, right? Calcium goes one way, oxygen goes the other way. They get a divorce. Be on the lookout for those Hofbrinkles, right? After they split up, they're lonely, so they might be... O2 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, if you had AlCl3 and they get divorced, aluminum goes one way, chlorine goes the other, and chlorine is a off sprinkle. It's by itself now, it's lonely, so it needs a buddy. So we gotta fix our chlorines now. Two, two, three. And these last couple examples here, carbonate and chlorate, when those guys decompose, they have very consistent decomposition patterns that you should know. These are partial memorize partial solve for what happens. It's not as straight up as it combustion, organic combustion is always CO2 plus water, but you do have some very consistent patterns. When carbonates, when you have those CO3s, carbonates, when they decompose, you're always going to get carbon dioxide as one product 100% of the time. You'll get carbon dioxide as one product. Well, if it starts as CO3 and then the other side CO2, it's like, where'd that other oxygen go? The other oxygen goes with whatever metal is there. So you'll always get CO2 and your other product is going to be the metal plus the leftover oxygen will be your other thing. So in this case, it's a magnesium plus oxygen. For chlorates, when those guys decompose, the divorce always happens in a chlorate between the Cl and the O. That's where they get divorced. So the oxygen goes off by itself, and then the chlorine stays with whatever metal is there. So you will always get oxygen as a product. And then, yeah, then chlorine stays with whatever metal is there. So you'll get metal plus chlorine, whatever. That's your other